If you're looking for a slim and yet motor tool that you can use th that fits in the palm of your hand, this one is it. It is the Gobble Lockdown Slim. The great thing about this is that you can easily open this just like this. You can just move your finger right there and you can get the knife open up just like that. Which makes it the ultimate minimalistic tool for you to use. Now the size of this is about six and a half inches around this way. About one and one fourth of an inch. This one over here is about half of an inch long, uh, maybe slightly less than that. And of course, the overall size when it is actually locked down is four inches. Well, that's why it's called locked down slim. Now, it features a few interesting things for you to use here. So first of all, we have the knife here. Then over here, we have the wire stripper that you can use as well. It has those nice handles that you can get it out. To close it, what you have to do is to move this thing down and you close this one down and it also has a pile over here that you can use. Now this one over here, in case you like to paint, this one is very handy because you can use this to open this up and then you can use this part to hit it right back in in order for you to close it up. So that's actually one of the reasons why I really like this smoothie tool. The next thing on the other side, there is actually scissors, but those scissors are not small. They are definitely running on the big side over here, so you can definitely use them for a lot of stuff. Now, what makes it very interesting and good is that the size of it. The size of it is just excellent, and it is pretty slim as well. The other added benefit of it is that this, you see, has a texture to it, which makes it a snap when it comes for you to getting any of those things and tools out. And of course, if you're going to be using it, you have a very good grip. On the other side over here, we have a carry clip that you can use as well, and you can stick it right in your pocket. So overall, this is pretty good. It has all the stuff you need in order to use this for everyday carry. It looks kind of cool as well. And above all, it can be used to open, pry things open, and for any other different mood to use too. I recommend it for you to get in case you're looking for a very good mood tool from Garbo. And now what I don't like about this is just that. So if you don't get a good version of it, uh, the biggest beef I have with this is the following. So as you go through this and you try to open this up, once you do open it, we have a problem. So here it is. So in here, this thing, in case you get a bad copy, is very hard for you to close. You can see my finger gets all the way like this when you're trying to get it out. And it really hurts when you put the pressure down to do this. Now, I could actually just have gotten a bad copy of this specific one because on this side, it is not actually the case. And when you, I do this, this easily opens and closes. Now, if I have had one just like it that was in gold coal and it didn't have this issue. So I think it's a production issue. So either get a good copy or you don't. And if you don't, don't give up. Order another one and you might get one that works great for you. Other than that, it is really nice. It is slim and it's great for doing so many things with an EDC use. It's also very cool looking and very sharp in black texture as well. So that makes it look very, very fine and interesting too. So if you're looking for a motor tool, EDC, and the bad stuff are not bugging you about, especially the Rhino Rock issue, if that is not the case, then this one is definitely a way for you to save money and get a very awesome looking small motor tool that you can use for a lot of different uses as well. And lastly, I'm going to ask you, the audience, what do you think of this motor tool and did you get a good copy of it? And if it's my criticism, is it fell about this or is it just above uh, any reasonable thing that maybe, hey, this thing is great for you, does it work great for for you, maybe I just got a bad copy of it and this is my issue with it only. So let me know below what you guys think. Is this a great Moody tool or did I just get 
a copy that's damaged on arrival.